In this episode, we look at the last month, including loads of guitars, loads of jamming, and quality time spent with the family. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Hey guys, it's Elton here, Grumpy Git. So I realize it's been almost a month now since I last posted, so I thought I'd send you an, uh, an update. Uh, no apologies, really, for the fact that I haven't posted for a month. Um, the past four weeks have been just what the doctor ordered. I spent a couple of weeks with a good friend of mine in near Reading, and then uh, the last two weeks I've been spending with my sister in Southampton and my niece and nephew. Um, so the first couple of weeks in Reading I spent with Leroy, who's a fellow guitarist. In fact, he's actually a bassist um, and had a f was in a few bands in South Africa and then also managed a few bands um, in South Africa. However, he is very competent on a guitar and indeed was someone who helped me when I was just teaching myself how to play guitar again. So it was great to catch up with him. I haven't seen him for a couple of years. Uh, he was kind enough to let me park on his driveway um, and I stayed there for two weeks which involved a lot of jamming. Um, most nights we were up till around four o'clock in the morning jamming. There were also occasions where we were up until about 5am 5 5 in the morning jamming which was great. Um, as I say it is exactly what the doctor ordered after a couple of years of quite stressful times uh, trying to sell my house the house collapsed the house sale collapsing twice then COVID coming along and kind of destroying the business that I had just started in in June of 2020 so yeah it was really just something I needed and a uh, time to switch off which is why I didn't create content I didn't post any content during that time <clears throat> um, so yeah I hope you understand and I hope you can forgive me for taking some time out so one of the things we did while I was with Leroy is went to go and visit this guitar shop. Um, I believe it's called Guitar Village. And as you can see from this video, it, it is just packed full of guitars of all shapes and sizes. Uh, ukuleles, banjos, etc, etc. Um, electric and acoustic. And it's just room after room of guitars that are displayed um, for sale. Some of them are second hand, some of them are brand new, some of the second hand ones are you know from the fifties and sixties, and you're looking at about six, seven thousand pounds for them. Um whilst others are, you know, more reasonable, I suppose. And I recently bought <coughs> excuse me. I recently bought a guitar um off the internet, um, a Martin LX1, which had I been in a shop like this and been able to play it. Um, I'm not sure that I would have purchased it. Uh, the reason being it's, it's a really small guitar, which is one of the reasons why I bought it, because obviously in the van, the smaller the, the guitar, the better really. Um, and to be fair, I am starting to get the feel of it. It was a bit of a struggle initially because the frets on the neck are much smaller than a standard size guitar. So I did initially have some problems um, just adapting to play the chords and things but with practice now I've now been able to kind of get the grip to get get to grips with it and in the last few weeks the last couple of weeks now I've been at my sister's place in Southampton um, well near Hamble and uh, it's just again it's just been great to catch up with her and the kids and the brother-in-law and just spend some quality time because I haven't seen them again for about three or four years now um, First time I'm meeting my nephew, and uh, he's a little, right little boy, and yeah, it's been great just to spend time with them and get to know them a bit better. The last time I saw my niece, I think she was around two, um, when we went to Croatia for a few days, and yeah, it's great to know that you know, she still has some recollections of her uncle, and it's been good to just have some fun and downtime with them spending time building Lego and such. Uh, this is one of the parks that we went to take the kids for a walk around in. This here is a, a juvenile or young Highland cattle, which is just roaming around one of the fields and are quite nervous and wandered off. Um, and then this is another one of the parks that we 
we've been to with the kids. They enjoy the outdoors, which is nice to see because not many kids these days do enjoy the outdoors. Um, but yeah, it's great to just see them playing, laughing, having fun outdoors and enjoying themselves. Um, I just hope that they can keep it going for, for the future. So that's it guys, that's an update for the last four weeks. Um, I will start posting more regularly now and I do look forward to seeing you on the road. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. Cheers guys, until next time, catch you later.